Hello everyone, welcome back to Technic4 Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to use proxies with Loggy Anti-Detect Browser. Let's get started. So let's take this one, test 2. If you have watched our existing video, we have shown you two processes. One is the proxy string and the other one is the separated data. In the case of the separated data, you need to put the required hostname or IP, port, username and password. And you also have to choose the protocol. But sometimes it's a little bit confusing. Many times what happens is the proxy provider doesn't show the protocol properly. Or maybe we don't understand the right one. So that's an issue. And it often creates problems. So we have figured out an easier way here in the proxy where we don't need the separated data and you don't need to think about the protocol. So just go with the proxy string. And I will show you what to do next. First, let me open my notepad. Now you'll need to write the proxy in this format. First, the IP or hostname. If your proxy provider is giving you the IP, then use the IP. If they provide the hostname, then use the hostname. Now write IP, colon, then the port here, whatever port your provider gave you. And if it's a public IP, this much is enough. But if it's private, in that case, you may need to provide a username and password. So add another colon, add in the username, you can put whatever username you have. Add another colon and the password. Again, here's what you will need if you have a public proxy. And here's what you will need if you have a private proxy. Now I will show you what it will actually look like. In my case, I don't have an IP address, so I have entered the hostname to replace the IP, then a colon and the port. So if it's a public proxy, this part is fine. If not, add another colon, then add the username, another colon, and lastly, the password. So this is all you'll need for the proxy string. No need for the HTTP protocol. So copy it and paste it here and you're good to go. So now let's open this profile. And as you can see, it is based from the different location, the United Kingdom. So that's an easier way to use the proxy string. And that's the current version, which is the version 1.2.2. So if you don't have it yet, you can update your application form from your membership. One additional thing you may need to take care of is the browser fingerprint. Even if you're using a proxy, some of browser properties can expose your identity, for example, your time zone or geolocation and others. So for example, let's assume you are using a proxy of United States and your own device time is India based. So in that case, your browser will reflect time based on your device time zone. So now it will show your IP from a different time zone and the browser is from a different time zone. And it's very easy to detect that you are using a proxy. It is not only the time zone, but few more properties that can expose your identity, even if you're using a proxy. So in another video, we will describe how to manage fingerprint based on your proxy. Now going back, we need to check if the proxy is working properly. So copy it. And in a Google engine search, you can go to an online proxy tester. Now paste it here and make sure your format is correct. Then go ahead and check the proxy. And now it shows us that it is a good proxy and shows you the location it found. So there you have it. I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.